Hey everybody, Structural Steve here again. In this video, we're going to talk about Bluebeam Review's stapler tool, which we can use to help staple or combine individual PDFs into a single PDF and really save us a lot of time by saving those settings for future use. So what exactly is the Bluebeam stapler? Well, it's a tool that helps you combine individual PDFs into a single PDF. You might be saying, okay, so what's special about this? You know, there's tons of different programs and ways to do that already. Well, the biggest difference with the Bluebeam stapler is that you can save your settings and organization of the individual PDF files as a single stable job. For those of you who are familiar with MicroStation, now compare this to a PSET where you organize a lot of individual DGNs and print them to a single PDF file. So this means that once you set it up initially, if you have any updates to the individual PDFs and you want to create a combined PDF again, all you have to do is open the staple job that you previously created hit staple and you're done. You know, this is really powerful because you don't have to worry about slip sheeting individual PDFs into the original combined PDF to replace those outdated pages again. And you know, this tool is really useful when you're compiling a large document such as a calculation package or anything that's really comprised of a ton of you know, component PDFs. So let's get into the stapler. When you first open the stapler, it's gonna be looking something like this. It's a pretty simple interface here. And to open it, you know, you can just go to your search menu down here and type in stapler and open it through that or you know, save that icon to your desktop or pin it to your taskbar down here. You know, the interface is pretty simple. You, know, you can start a wizard here like you're used to seeing in Bluebeam or you can just do add files and a, a normal Windows Explorer type of adding files dialog comes up or simply drag and drop. So personally, I like the drag and drop the best. So I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. I'm going to take the files that I want to combine into a single PDF, select them, drag them over to the window, and then you're going to see that normal Bluebeam combined PDF dialog come up here. You see how they're organized initially, open this up a little bit bigger. And this all looks good because I've already named my PDFs with a, a numerical prefix so that it comes in, in in the right order, and that's something I would highly recommend doing. You can see over here in all my other files. You know, I have everything numbered with that number prefix to help place them in the order that I want them to appear in the document. And that way I don't have to go through and organize and move things around over on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this whatever I need to call it. In this case, this is a, a subset of the main package, the 04 calculations. So I'm just going to call it 04 calculations. And I'll just put it in a temporary folder for now. And hit OK. And then you'll see those are all imported into your stapler over here now. Everything looks good again because I have it in the right order that I wanted it based on those numerical prefixes. If you want, you can move things around over here with the arrow dialogs, delete them or sort them in a different way. One nice thing over here too is you can see the date that the last time that these files were updated. So if you updated a, you know, a single file or a couple files, you can verify that that file you're pulling in and combining is the correct one based on the, the date that is last updated here. So I'm going to first save this job because I want to use this again in the future. And I'll call this the same thing, same name as the PDF, 04 calculations. Hit save. So now I can use this again in the future. And now everything looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and hit staple. And you notice it automatically combines those PDFs and it uses the file names of the individual PDFs and bookmarks those for you. So now you can quickly get around your document here wherever it is you need to get to. So I'm going to close that, go back into here, and then here's that uh, file type that I just created, the bsx.bsx, that's going to be the file type for the stapler job here. And that saved all these settings. So now if I close this and then I update, say, a couple of these files in the future, I can just open up this file, the staple job file, and hit staple again, and it'll automatically combine all those individual files in a single PDF again for me to use. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new stable job here because again this was just a, a subset of the main one and I already created the PDF for that, this 04 calculations, which is all of these individual pieces combined. But I want to start a new job here and then now I want to put in all of the, the rest of the PDF and combine everything together. So I got my 0 through 5, all these files, drag and drop, Everything looks good. I'm just going to call this master. 
Hit OK. Everything looks good. Again, it's organized based on the numerical prefix. And I'll hit. The, I'll save this job again. This is my master one. And hit staple. Now I have a combined PDF calculation package in this case. Again, with everything bookmarked in here. And some of these individual PDFs already had other bookmarks in there that I don't really want, so I can just go ahead and select those and delete those and clean that up a little bit. But there you go. Now you have a combined set that I did, did in a matter of you know, seconds or minutes as opposed to having to go in and manually insert and slip sheet and replace pages to update something. And the power of this again is when you have updates to files, right? So if I have files that were updated in here, like say I updated these two files here, the 03 and 04 files, I would just save over these files right where they're at, you know, whatever program I'm, I'm doing this from, I would print and save those files over here, replace these files, open up that staple job and just hit staple. And then you're automatically going to have your whole entire PDF document stapled together and combined just the way you want it. You know, this was a process that used to take hours and hours sometimes when you have a, a big document where you have, you know, tens and hundreds of individual PDFs you need to combine into one. And this really just speeds up that process greatly and helps increase that efficiency. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button you see in the screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.